Good morning, the Danik. Your machine has been finished, and today I'm going to make the video to show you how to uh, install the machine and how to operate the machine. First, uh, let me show you the total dimension of this machine. For this machine, for the length is 4.5 meters for the length, and for the weight, it's uh, 4.1 me meters, uh, including the control, the control cabinet and uh, the dust collector position. The total width is uh, 4.1 meters, and the the height is uh, 2.9 meters. After we move machine to the position, we should first we should adjust the level of the machine. So we use a laser level to uh, to change the the high the adjust the level of the machine. First we switch on the this one and we can put we can put it on the mm, floor. Then we use the tape to adjust the put the tip like this. We just uh, adjust uh, the height of four, of four corners of the machine. And uh, we just keep all the corners will be the same value. So we can change, we can adjust the screw to change the height of the machine. After we check in this, we we adjust this corner also. After we confirmed the four corners, the value will be same, then it will be okay. So next, we need to uh, we, we need to connect the main power to the control cabinet. First, we use for the power cable. We should use uh, ten square millimeters and four call four calls and uh, we just uh, th there are four wires one is natural this is uh, natural we just uh, connect uh, according to the natural and three live wires we just uh, connect it to be here our cable we we should connect uh, when we connect to the secure uh, circuit breaker the this breaker must be uh, 63 at least 63 amperes or 100 amperes so after we connect the control cabinet then we connect uh, this cable to the to the circuit circuit breaker after that we check uh, connection we just give the power heat for this machine is uh, 400 volts uh, three phase uh, 50 uh, hertz after we uh, connect the power we just uh, switch on the machine here After we finish connecting the power, we should connect the air to the machine. So we just open this this cover. And connect the air to the connectors here. We can check the meters. Uh, the value must be 
at least 0 0.6 uh, ampers after connect the the air we just uh, put the cover back we when we transport this machine we separate the gantry with the machine so after we switch on the machine we need to set the machine coordination again so we just uh, push push the x axis to make sure this value this is the x axis we just uh, use tape to keep this distance is uh, 130 and also this distance this distance is 30 30 and this distance It's also 30. First, we move axis to be here. After that, we need to set the absolutely uh, machine coordination. So first, we press F8, system admin. Then we press F3, parameters. And then we press F7 serial training yeah maybe you need to uh input the password the password is five five two zero and then after that we press normal axis then we find f7 set absolutely home so if the if the if we need, we can check this color. If this color is yellow, not uh, green, we have to set it. How to set? We just uh, move the cursor, for example, to be here, and make sure we choose home mode. Then we press F1, set home. After we press F1, this one will be uh, will be green. That means this axis we we finish setting. We set all axes in the same way. Be before we connect the vacuum pump uh, power we just open the pump and uh, install the meter install the meter first so we just take out the meter and this meter we should install to be here to show the pressure of this vacuum pump This is the vacuum pump for the machines. For this machine, there are two vacuum pumps. And the voltage is 400 volts. The voltage. So, before we use it, we must open this cover and uh, fulfill waters inside. The, the water must be uh, to be here, we must uh, uh, fulfill the water in the pump. After we fulfill the waters, we just uh, connect the wire of the vacuum pumps. 
First, we open the cover of the wire. Then we use connect the cables. This cable, we can use the 2.5 square meters or four square, uh, square millimeters. Three coins is enough. So we just uh, open the cover. After we connect the vacuum pump, we should connect the vacuum pump cable to be here. These three connectors is for the vacuum pump. And these three connectors for the second vacuum pump. And these three are uh, dust collector. So we just uh, connect all of them. Uh, after we connect to the vacuum pump cable, first we choose a jog mode and then we press main button. This is the switch for vacuum pump one. So we just uh, for first time when we switch on the vacuum pump, we, we need to check the the direction of the uh, pump rotate. So we just uh, click like this, click the pump for one or two seconds. Then we, ch then we check the vacuum pump rotation. It should be like the arrow. It should be rotate like this. If rotate like that, that means we connect to the wrong order. So we need to exchange, exchange these two keyboards. After that, the rotation will be correct. Then we put the cover back. We should connect uh, dust collector power to be here. These three wires is for the dust collector. We just connect the keyboard to be here. We connect to the dust collector. We can control this button to turn on the dust collector. Check the direction also. It's the same with the vacuum pump. 
to load the file and run the file automatically. First, we press F1, operate panel. Then we press file F3, file manager. Then we change to USB local. And we choose the file. Choose this folder. For example, choose this folder. Then press F1, output list. Then we will see the file will be load here. So now we just choose auto mode and then we press the simulation button and press circle start. After that we rotate the hand wheel. The machine We'll start labeling. Same off.